we had looked at a lot of properties that um, had northern exposures and not having lived on the water before it became very apparent and important for us that we on the bay where wind can be uh, harsh in the winter we wanted to have a, a southern exposure so that we would have that protection and also the the benefit of the summer breeze coming from the south or southeast and so we thought we found that with, with what we call Cove House. Uh, it's a wonderful property of about three, three and a half acres. We really felt Hugh Jacobson's design was almost perfect for this particular property because the wall of glass on the waterfront affords water views from almost every room and yet there's this incredible sense of, of privacy on the property. Natural light is something that's very important to us. We added skylights where we thought light might be compromised, but in general, uh, almost every room except for uh, some of the bedrooms are, are filled with natural light. We really fell in love with Hugh Jacobson's architecture, starting with um, a publication in the 1998 Life Dream House edition for which uh, Hugh was commissioned to develop a house. And um, we kept that, and when it came time to build, we decided that this was the house for us. In the main hall, there are what we call egg crate bookcases. They're classic Hugh Newell Jacobson, which with the proper lighting just look fantastic. We've really come to love the easeful living, the one floor living that allows for a great deal of privacy within the house, easy exit and entry into and out of the house but also a central meeting place in the living room area that in the winter months with our wood burning fire is uh, really a great place to, to hang out. The room has consistent uh, lighting with the other architectural lighting in the house, uh, similar to what we, we added in the master bedroom and the central hall. Uh, we have furniture that we put in the middle of the room, but have seen it set up in a traditional manner as well in other Hugh Newell Jacobson houses um, set up with different areas, a piano, classic pieces against the wall. Uh, certainly that would be the new owner's option and there is ample room for additional furniture. The dining room is just a very relaxing place. You feel like you're outside with wraparound windows and again, the decor that we've kept is minimal, minimalist and it draws, draws your eye to the outside. Certainly you could put additional dining room furniture. There's space for it in the, in the dining room for a sideboard against the wall under the, under the flower painting. We didn't include a chandelier because we didn't want to block the, the view from the interior out, but uh, certainly that would be something that uh, would be an option if someone was looking for a more formal dining room. We invested a, a lot of time designing the kitchen so that it had ample storage. The cabinets are very uh, voluminous. Uh, there are side-by-side -side refrigerator and freezer. It's a really functional layout and designed for ease of use, both for a small family or for when uh, the new owners have, have guests over. There's a separate coffee bar. There is a beverage area that includes an ice maker and uh, a refrigerator that holds sodas and wine. There's an Advantium microwave and a GE monogram convection oven. There's not a lot on the counters. Um, we try to keep everything stored. We designed the kitchen so that everything has its place. And the great benefit of hanging out in the kitchen is that you've got incredible water views. The master bedroom is 
just an incredibly relaxing place. It's, it includes two closets, the bathroom and then the sleeping area, which looks out directly onto the pool and then straight out to Dimer Creek, then Fleets Bay and out into the Chesapeake Bay. To your left in the morning, the sun will, will come up and it's um, just such a peaceful way to wake up. In the summer months, you can open the slider and walk right out to the pool and take a dip. After we completed the house, we added a pool, and it is really something we should have done earlier. It, in the summer, it affords you almost a resort-like quality of life because you can exit the house from almost any door and be immediately at the pool. It's about 15 feet wide and 50 feet long. It's got uh, depth so that uh, your kids or grandkids can dive off the deep end. It's a great pool for laps, and we, uh, we really find ourselves spending a lot of time out of the pool. In the spring, summer, and fall, the dock is just a fantastic place to hang out, both with the family or on your boat. The dock is about 130 feet long. It goes out to about eight or nine feet of water depth. One of the things that we, we've really grown to enjoy about the property and hadn't maybe thought through as much as, um, as much as some others might have is the real sense of connection with, with nature. Of course, in the summer, there's fishing and crabbing, but one wouldn't think there'd be so much activity in the late fall, winter, and spring. And we've really come to love those particular seasons, both because of the relative solitude. There are very few boats in the water, but just a, a ton of wildlife and um, the light is very clear, the water is very clear at that time of the year, and you just get this awesome sense of, of uh, being a part of nature. You can get up early in the morning and either go for a walk on the property or go for a run down the lane and, um, and really feel like you're in a very, very private setting.